Sent off in the midweek European Cup tie in Moscow, Liverpool goalkeeper Bruce Grobelar had another shock after a minute, beaten by Norwich captain Ian Butterworth's shot. But within 20 minutes, Liverpool had turned the situation around. Michael Thomas scored his first goal since the FA Cup final last May to equalise his swerving shot, just eluding goalkeeper Brian Gunn's outstretched hand. Thomas then became the inspiration for Liverpool's second goal, providing the cross from which Liverpool gained the lead. Don Hutchison, who's made such an impact since his graduation to the first team, heading in his sixth goal in a spell of eight games. Norwich, though, missed an ideal opportunity to pull level. Torben Picknick's own crossfield ball put the Liverpool defence under pressure, but when he tried to rectify the situation, the Dane simply made matters worse when it was judged that he pushed Chris Sutton. Mark Bowen, who'd scored a penalty in Norwich's previous win against Queen's Park Rangers, failed to find the target this time. But seven minutes into the second half, Liverpool defender David Burrows did find the target. Only his second goal for the club, and on his 25th birthday too. Liverpool's Mark Walters played possibly his best game for the club since joining from Rangers, linking up well with Michael Thomas to form a dangerous combination. So it was fitting that after Walters had been fouled by Ian Culverhouse, he himself should round off a good team performance with the penalty that made it Liverpool 4, Norwich 1.